क्वेश्चन नंबर 141 मैच कॉलम 1 विद कॉलम 2 विद रिस्पेक्ट टू चीफ नाइट्रोजनस कंपोनेंट ऑफ एक्सक्रीटरी प्रोडक्ट एंड चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इन कॉलम 1 द वेरी फर्स्ट ऑप्शन गिवन इज बोनी फिशेस एंड बोनी फिशेस अलोंग विद सम एक्वेटिक एम्फीबियंस दैट इज ए ऑप्शन इन कॉलम 1 दे आर a monotelic. So A in column 1 matches with first option in column 2 with ammonia. The next option in column 1 is land snails, reptiles, birds and insects. They are uricotelic. So B in column 1 goes with Third option in column 2. The next option is mammals. And mammals along with many terrestrial amphibians. At a C in column 1, they are ureotelic. So C in column 1 goes with second option in column 2. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 4, A with 1, B with 3 and C with 2. The fourth option given in column 2, that is guanine, is a metabolic waste of nucleotide metabolism. Found in Spiders and penguins. Penguins are flightless birds. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 4. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 142. Choose the correct match with respect to hormone and its primary function. And the very first match given is reabsorption of water. And the match is vasopressin. And as it is a correct match, this is a correct answer to our question. Because vasopressin, also known as ADH, this is vasopressin or ADH or antidiuretic hormone is responsible for the reabsorption of water and electrolytes by kidney. Let's discuss the rest of the options. The next option is tubular secretion of sodium and the match given is ADH and this is an incorrect match because ADH or antidiuretic hormone is responsible for tubular reabsorption of water and electrolytes by kidney. The next option is diluting the urine and the match is insulin and as it is an incorrect match, this cannot be a correct answer to our question because insulin is a peptide hormone that regulates glucose homeostasis in blood. The last option given is increasing GFR and the hormone given is thyroxine and as it is an incorrect match, this cannot be a correct answer to our question because thyroxine is responsible for maintaining the basal metabolic rate and not for maintaining the glomerular filtration rate or net filtration rate. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 1. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 143. Read the following statements and choose the correct option. And statement A says, 70 to 80 percent of electrolytes and water are reabsorbed by the proximal convoluted tubules. And this is a correct statement because maximum reabsorption occurs in PCT or proximal convoluted tubules in nephron of kidneys. The next statement is statement B which says that PCT is lined by brush bordered simple cuboidal epithelium and this is also a correct statement. Now let's discuss the options. The very first option is only statement A is correct. This cannot be a correct answer to our question because both the statements are correct. Next option is only statement B is correct. This cannot be a correct answer to our question. Third option is both statements are correct. And this is a correct answer to our question because both statement A and statement B are correct. The next option is both statements are incorrect and this is an incorrect option. So the correct answer to this question is option number 3. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 144. 
The number of sphincters present in male urethra is and options are 4, 3, 2 and 1. The correct answer to this question is option number 3, 2. Two sphincters are present in male urethra that is internal sphincter. and external sphincter in male urethra. Internal sphincter of males is supplied with both sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system whereas external sphincter of male is supplied by somatic nerve. So the correct answer to this question is option number 3. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 145. All of the following statements are true except. So we have to select an incorrect statement among the given statements. The very first statement says, Decrease in aldosterone increases sodium reabsorption in DCT. And as it is an incorrect statement, this is a correct answer to our question. Because aldosterone, also known as salt retaining hormone, is released from the zona glomerulosa of adrenal cortex and is responsible for increasing the sodium reabsorption in DCT. So it is increase in aldosterone and not decrease in aldosterone which increases sodium reabsorption in DCT. The next statement is large amount of water can be reabsorbed from collecting duct to produce concentrated urine. And as it is a correct statement, this cannot be a correct answer to our question. As you can see here, in the collecting duct, large amount of water can be reabsorbed to produce concentrated urine. The next statement is, DCT or distal convoluted tubule is capable of reabsorption of bicarbonate ions and selective secretion of hydrogen and potassium ions. And as it is also a correct statement, this cannot be a correct answer to our question. As you can see here in this diagrammatic representation, which is also given in your NCRT book, this is distal convoluted tubule, which is capable of reabsorption of bicarbonate ions and selective secretion of potassium ions and hydrogen ions. The last statement given in this question is, descending limb of loop of Helle is almost impermeable to electrolytes. And as it is also a correct statement, this cannot be a correct answer to our question. As you can see here, this is descending limb of loop of Helle and is permeable to water but impermeable to electrolytes. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 1. Let's move on to the next question.